I am Lisa Bronner, and I'm the granddaughter of the founder of Dr. Bronner's Magic Soaps. 3,000 years ago, Moses said, every human being is responsible for his action, or that being is still a beast, not yet human. When my grandfather first set himself up in America after he had immigrated, he returned to the roots of his family, which was soap making. Oh my goodness, I haven't looked at these pictures since we've been back. And oh, I was in this house. And this was the house in which the soap was first made down in this basement here. He was my only living grandparent on both sides. Unfortunately, my uh, great-grandparents both died in concentration camps. My experience with the soap as a child was that it was normal. I mean, you always think that what happens in your family is normal. He was making soap a very old-fashioned way and he was mixing it up in his tenement apartment in Los Angeles, just like in a vat. Like, you know, you might picture somebody brewing some potion. I remember picking up that bottle and reading all sorts of things that I didn't understand. But he could never have separated that bottle of soap from the message that was on it and the goals he was trying to accomplish around the world. One thing at a time, work hard, get done, then teach friend and enemy how to work and how to love. For love is God, and God is love, uniting all one above, above, except the eternally absolute none. I think my grandfather would be glad to see what we've done. When I was little, my grandfather was rather confusing because it was so hard to have an exchange with him without his monologuing. The moral ABC that unites all mankind free. Through books or movies, I, you know, hear things about grandparents and kids spending time with their grandparents and going to do things. And that was not my experience with my grandfather. I mean, you couldn't ask him a question about the weather or about the Padres. But I remember one time that I didn't realize he was sitting near enough to hear a conversation I was having on the phone with my boyfriend. And afterwards, like, he was asking me about my boyfriend. And it was just strange because we had never had such a, a normal, like, day-to-day -day conversation like that. It had always been big about you know, saving Spaceship Earth. Solar energy is the ideal energy of the future. I'm 100% convinced of that. We, we all had our various, you know, life plans. But things don't always go as you plan. Summer in between my first two years of college, I lived, I lived with him. And that was the summer that I really wish I would have had the presence of mind to sit with him more and not try to converse, because that was so difficult for him at that point. My grandfather passed away in March of 1997 from Parkinson's. I think if I had turned to music to engage with him, that would have been uh, more beautiful for both of us. I think I could have expressed more through music, and he probably could have received more and would have received more through music but I didn't realize that at the time. And I'll know that for some other time in the future, some other circumstance that that'll be useful. We are all one, all one.